Welcome to my RV tour. I am so excited to share it with you. It has been a bit of a time coming. We got this thing about two weeks ago in Orlando, Florida from Cruise America and I have been enjoying having it ever since. It was an awesome experience buying from Cruise America. They really have outstanding levels of customer service and integrity in their business and I highly recommend if you are in the market for a Class C or an RV of any kind, look into buying from them because they just have been absolutely outstanding. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the RV tour. I'm gonna to show you what's in the exterior compartments and a little bit more about the RV on the outside and everything that it has, all its quirks and features, as Doug Demure <laughs> might say. And then we're gonna go ahead and hop on the inside and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Now, disclaimer, what it looks like right now is basically stock. Um, I have taken out a bed and a cabinet, as you will see, but that is because renovations are coming soon. So if you wanna check those out, I will be filming all of them for you on this channel. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss those videos because they're gonna start rolling out pretty soon. My first renovation is actually gonna be taking place today. So I'll be filming that today for you. But anyways, I will show you in the interior tour everything that we have plans on changing just from basic just from basic light fixtures and things like that to huge changes that are gonna happen and really affect the layout and how this RV works for us. We are so excited about jumping into this, well, at least I am. Shane isn't so much excited about all the renovations, but I just absolutely love doing them. I really get a lot of energy from it and just get my creativity juices flowing when thinking about and planning renovations, so. I'm excited for it. It's gonna completely make over this RV into something that we are going to love living in and it's just gonna reflect our own sense of personal style and I think y'all are gonna like it too. So without further ado, let's get into the rest of the RV tour. In the back driver's corner of the RV, we have the water hose inlet and this is also a gas RV and below the gas cap we have where the sewer hose is housed and below the sewer hose is also where we dump our tanks. Since we have a composting toilet, we have two gray tanks, so we pull both of those levers out to combine them and have the knife valve. This is also a 30 amp RV, which is really convenient for staying in RV parks. It makes it really affordable. And when the RV isn't plugged into shore power, we plug right in there for the generator. That is our house battery. And right next to the house battery is the generator compartment which we are so, so blessed to have a generator. It is one of the major perks of having a Class C RV. We have this Cummins Onan generator and it has less than 300 hours on it. Now in the compartment on the other side, on the passenger side in front, we have propane. We also have an LED porch light, which we can turn on and off inside right below our fire extinguisher. And we have a huge basement storage compartment, which is accessed by this huge door on the passenger side, or also on this little door on the very back of the RV. And that concludes our outside tour. So we sleep in the over cab area, which has a king size bed. It's not made prettily, but it is there. <laughs> and we have a mattress topper on top. There's not a whole lot of room up there, but it's just fine enough for us. And then the cab area gets curtained off during the day to keep some of the heat out. And we keep some things up there for storage while we're parked. 
also have the dog food and the trash can up there. This is our dinette area, which we are currently using as our couch because our couch hasn't arrived yet. And underneath the dinette area is a little dog bed and some dog toys. They love staying under there. It's nice and cool. And the cat does too. Next to the dinette is the refrigerator and across from that is the kitchen area. So we have just a regular microwave, uh, one cabinet. <laughs> it's pretty cramped in here. We have a magnetic knife rack which saves a ton of space. A few little fall pumpkins and things. A basket full of bread and fruit. I'm fixing some dog food right now, so <laughs> the crock pot is on the counter. We have our air fryer and our little coffee station, dirty dishes in the sink, and a purified water bottle. We also have a few little drawers. This is our silverware drawer, and below it is a drawer filled with just some baggies and some condiment things from MRE rations, and also some reusable silicone bags. And then we have some toppers for bowls, a few cleaning rugs, magic eraser, our immersion blender, just stuff like that. And then in the other kitchen little compartment, we have soaps and rags and a little bit of first aid back there in that lunchbox. Not much can fit because our fresh water tank and water heater is under this. And then under this area, just some things for smoothies. This is also where the instant pot goes. Under these two cabinets right here, like I said, is where the water heater and stuff is. Our levels test and all those kind of buttons are right to the left of the microwave and it tells us what our levels are for all of our tanks and also we can turn the generator on and off right there. This is our little coffee slash dog cabinet. There are dog treats and dog pills and some extra canned goods and some tea. And then in the cabinet next to that is our bulk foods cabinet. So that's where we have our nut butters, some sugar, some rice noodles, things for ice cream, peanut butter, stuff like that, that we don't really use very often. Right here is our dresser. <laughs> this is where we took out a bench and it's currently housing our dresser, but not for much longer. It's just where it is right now. And underneath that is where our shoes go. It's the perfect size little cubby for fitting all of that. We also have the little doggy station right there. We have a fire extinguisher and the lights for our inside floor LEDs and outside lights. And then this is our living room area. This is where our couch is going to go in a couple of days. And it's also where our clothes are currently hanging because there's not enough room in the closet. However, that is only temporary. And then those cabinets overhead are used for living room storage. And these are just a couple of extra boxes of things that need to get put away still. <laughs> we have some dog food staples up there as well as my bulk oatmeal and some candles and a backpack in this cabinet. And then in the other one is just some camera equipment. And so across from that, we have the closet area. This is just where my clothes are. Shane's clothes are on the other rack. Except for these shirts, these are his work shirts. And then below that we have Silo, and we have three drawers just for underwear and socks. The first one is mine, and the next one down is Shane's, and then the bottom one is a random assortment of items like a lunchbox and an ankle thingy, my bobber. And then we have Silo again. And I love that new bath mat that I got, but before we get to the main bathroom space, let's take a look at our secondary bathroom space, which is the medicine cabinet and sink and bathroom storage. So our medicine cabinet is just like any other. We have soaps and all sorts of, you know, medicine cabinet things. And then we have our regular area and that's our furnace, uh, switchy mabobber thermostat. And then we have some more bathroom storage below. Not very much, but that's that. And in our main bathroom area, toilet room, we have the shower. And it's not a lot of space to step. But we have our nature's head composting toilet in here. It's a little bit bigger than a standard RV toilet. And as you can see, we hooked it up yesterday and there's just not a ton of room, but it does the job. And the shower is a little bit small as well, so we're thinking about doing something with that, but right now it has our laundry basket and our trash can in there. 
So while we're in the bathroom, we can start renovation talks. Down here is going to be our first renovation. I'm just gonna level the floor since the toilet is so high, as you can see. So we're gonna build a box that will have some storage underneath of it, and then the floor will be completely level, which I'm really excited about because it's kind of hard to use the bathroom right now because these towel hooks are in the way, so they're gonna come out. And then when you stand in the bathroom, you'll be able to actually have room. Because right now when you stand in there, as you can see by this video clip, there is barely enough room just to turn in a circle. I'm actually touching the toilet doing this. So having a level floor will definitely up the game in there and make the bathroom actually usable. So I'm really excited about diving into that project. And then the rest of the project for the bathroom will encompass some paint, a light fixture up there, and some tile on the floor to make it all cohesive. But that finishes up all the bathroom renovation talks. So for all of these upper cabinets, we're going to paint these white. And then these bottom cabinets right here will be black. So we're gonna go with a black and white kind of theme. And then the front of these bench seats right here our end right there is going to be renovated as well. We're going to put a cabinet in right here and it'll just make some more kitchen storage as well as more countertop space. And a countertop will also flip over that door opening to extend even more countertop space. Additional quote unquote renovations will include putting a shelf in this space above the door because it definitely has room for it and is needed. And then this corner right here will also house a new shelf for all of our electronics because we really don't have a space to put them right now. We're also considering putting some suction cup baskets on the top part of that window right there because that's where the dinette is. And then this bed area right here, we are going to reface it in a sort of mountain rustic modern kind of way we're not exactly sure what we're going to do with it right now but it's going to drastically change as for the walls they will be painted white to be crisp and clean these handles are going to change as well because they're just not our style and i'm trying to convince shane to take out the microwave for more kitchen storage because as you can see we definitely need it. I'm also positioning for a shelf right above there for a few more bits and bobs, <laughs> but that will be sometime in the future. And then this little bathroom area is going to potentially turn into a closet area instead, at least the top portion, because, well, the closet is right there and we definitely need more closet space. It's definitely in short supply in this little tiny RV. And then this handle right here also has to move, so it will be relocated, which I confess is a very small project, but it has to be done for that kitchen cabinet that's going in over there. And then for the cat box to be relocated, we are going to drill into the back of that right there so she can go in there. So the cat box will move from there to in there. <laughs> And then these little window railings are made out of solid wood. We just don't like the stain. So we're gonna take them all off, restain them so they match our new decor. Another project will be changing out these light fixtures and that will come at a later time. And then this fabric, as Sammy is displaying so elegantly, is definitely not in the decor scheme either so that will be changing as well but they seem to like it as it is so they're getting plenty of use out of it and then when we change the fabric on the back of the dinettes we're also going to frame that out probably in a reclaimed wood because that is definitely more our style as for the refrigerator instead of painting it we are going to put in some stainless steel coverings so it gives it more of like an industrial modern feel and our last project is all right guys that's the tour of my 2015 thor majestic 23a i am so excited to share it with you and hope you got some ideas of what you could do in your 
RV renovation project or even what you want to look for in finding an RV that suits your needs. I know this one is our fourth RV now and it has taken a while to try to figure out what works best for us living in an RV full time. And since we have lived in four different, well, we've had four different RVs, we've lived in three, I figured I'd just make it an entire video comparing all the pros, the cons, the features, the quirks of each different class because we've had a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, a class A, and now a class C. And so if you're interested in that video, it will be coming out next in one week from today so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss it i am super excited about all the renovations that are going to be going on with this rv shane not so much he doesn't get as excited about renovations as i do but i just can't wait to dive in we're going to be starting our first renovation project today so really excited about getting that bathroom starting to really work for us but if you're interested in the whole renovation thing i am going to be doing a new series on this channel so you'll be able to find it on my channel and then under the thread that says rb reno but anyways that's it for this video if you have any questions comments anything leave them in the comment section down below and let me know what is your must have either just one or a whole list of things that you would want in your RV and I will talk to you guys down there but until next time make sure to catch me on Instagram I'm on there every single day and post a lot of things hashtag real RV life so if you're interested in all of that here's my Instagram handle and it's always in the description box below and make sure to check out ariasadventures.blog for all the little details about everything RV life and some in-depth video behind the scenes kind of stuff, as well as a map of all the places that we've ever been to, traveled to, lived, campgrounds, everything like that. It's all on the website ariasadventures.blog. I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.